Hi, I'm James Haley here with Horizon Hobby Product Development. Uh, we got the new Blade 130X here, and we're going to kind of go over the major crash components, some of the things that are you know most likely to break during a crash, or that we've had um, you know breaking a crash. Um, we're going to mainly focus on the drivetrain here, uh, mainly the tail gears and the rear and the front, as well as the main rotor head, and uh, that should be you know cover pretty much all of the main crash components on the helicopter. Start by popping the canopy off. To remove the main shaft, we're going to remove the screw holding the large gear on the main shaft using a Phillips head. Go ahead and set that to the side. Next, pop the three ball links off of the swash plate. Be careful not to lose the O-rings on the swash plate. Next, Push down on the main gear, similar to the MCPX style. This will release the uh, pressure on the main shaft, so you can simply pull it out the top. Now we have the whole main shaft assembly separate from the helicopter. Go ahead and set it aside, along with the main gear. And also, I like to remove the two links for the two, the uh, pitch and aileron servo. Set them aside. Make sure you know which one was on the right and left side. That way you don't have to redo any of the links to level the swash plate afterwards. Now remove the large black gear for the tail drive unit that was on the main shaft. Simply just push it to the side and push down and it'll pop out. That unit is now out. If you were simply replacing that gear, which is a very common part to strip, this is all you have to do to go forward. You can simply put the main shaft back in. The next step will be to install the main shaft, the tail drive gear, and the main gear back into the helicopter. We will now insert the black gear above the front metal gear on the torque rod. We're going to do this by sliding it in. Hold the metal gear up using your finger and take a rod and push back towards the boom in this method and the gear will snap up into the cup to hold it in place. You can then let go and the gear will stay in there. We will now install the main shaft by sliding the main shaft through the bearing, then align it with the black plastic gear. This will fall through. We will then slide the main gear in underneath, install with the taller, thinner piece going up. Be sure to align the flat spots up. Okay. I've now installed the main gear onto the main shaft by snapping in place, very similar to the MCPX, and now going to install the screw through the black gear and the main shaft. This will engage the tail, tail drive to the main shaft. Align the hole in the main shaft with the hole in the black gear, then install the screw. I've now installed the screw into the tail gear. When done correctly, you should be able to spin the main head and the tail will spin as well. To finish installing the main shaft, install the swash plate pin into the anti-rotation bracket. Simply pull it out so it aligns up. Then grab your two push rods that you had before, align them up, slide them into the servo, and snap them in place. Do this by sliding the push rod in, into the servo. Be sure that the L-bend, the U-bend, is not on the other side of the body post. If this is the case, it will over it will lock the servo up and overheat it. Be sure that this is free and on the right on the tail boom side of the body post. Then simply snap the ball link onto the swash plate. Do this for the front elevator servo as well. Now that we installed the push rod and the swash plate back onto the helicopter, this finishes up the rebuild of the front tail gear assembly for the 130X.